Hello guys, welcome back. This video is about chat PDF as you know from the thumbnail already. What it does is you upload a PDF file and then you start chatting with the PDF. I was going through Twitter and I found one tweet from Mathis Lichtenberger. I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly, where he says announcing chat PDF.com chat with any PDF. Here he says that it's using the new chat GPT API that OpenAI released yesterday and is super fast and free to use. Quickly answer anything from books, papers, manuals, and uh, contracts. I was surprised how fast many use cases are evolving using the chat GPT API. I went through this website, it's chatpdf.com. The name is also quite catchy, chatpdf.com. What does it touch? Let's go through what it says. It says chat with any PDF. The PDF size is limited to 50 pages due to the high demand at the moment. But then this functionality was not introduced in the beginning, but now it already says that for more use your own API key. If you click on this, it will say us that, okay, sign up for the open AI platform. We can go there, sign up and use our own API keys. But it's not necessary. We can e still use the existing API key from Mathis or the one who is creating this website. Okay, it says our chatting PDF. Why is it necessary? With chat PDF, your documents are becoming intelligent. Just talk to your PDF file as if it were a human with perfect understanding of the context. That is why chatting PDF exists now. And what is this useful for? It works great to quickly extract information from the large PDF files. Try talking to manuals, essays, legal contracts, books, or research papers. We can just upload PDF and then start chatting with it. And it says, how does it work, right? It says the PDF is analyzed first to create a semantic index of every paragraph. When asking a question, the relevant paragraphs are presented to the chat GPT API. Your data is saved in a secure cloud storage and deleted after seven days. There is also the disclaimer there that it is stored for seven days, but it is being then deleted. If you don't know what semantic index is, we can just go to chat GPT and then ask, okay, semantic index, what does it mean? There is long answer for that. And then I, can, I just ask it, can you explain it in simple term in two sentences? It says that, okay, a semantic index is a way of organizing and retrieving information based on its meaning or semantics rather than just its words. It helps improve the accuracy and relevance of source results by understanding the context and relationship between words. I think this is a really good summary it provided in two sentences. Let's see how it works. There are three options here. You can upload the PDF from your computer, browse from computer. And the second option is from the URL. You can provide the URL of the PDF and already it will analyze the PDF. And you can even find the PDF if you don't have. Let's go through each of these. And let's see how it works. Here it says browse my computer. And I have downloaded one PDF before related to AI definitions. Now it says, okay, hello there. I am an informatic PDF, PDF file about artificial intelligence and its definitions. Here are some key takeaways from the content. It's already summarizing in three sentences here. And then if you have any questions about my content, feel free to ask. Here are three examples. It's like we are now starting to have a conversation with the PDF that I just uploaded. Yeah, this is the information that it gave for me, but let me ask the questions which it is already suggesting me to ask. What are some examples of autonomous systems in AI? Let's just copy this. Here is a place to ask the questions and then just send it. Then it starts autonomous systems in AI can include hospital delivery robots that are all these things 
And then it says that it is extracted from page one. Although this PDF was just of page one, it even gives us that, okay, this was extracted from page one. All the information now, what you get will be just from that PDF. It will not go beyond that PDF. You are just having the conversation with the PDF. Let's ask another question. Can you explain the concept of autonomy in AI? Let's ask the question here and it will give us yeah, in AI, autonomy refers to the ability of a system to independently plan and decide sequences and all these things, which is in the page one. This is one where you can upload from your local uh, computer. You can do reset and you can even ask the question. But if you want to close this, it says here, close this chat to use another PDF. Let's do close for now. Now we are back to the home page. Now, let's say that we want to read from the URL, but okay, I don't have any URL for now. There is the option to find a PDF. Let's click find PDF and you can type anything here. Let's write data science and just press the source button. It will, it will go through the internet and find some of the PDFs that has data science in it. Let's, let's take one of these, data science Columbia University or something. Then it is now analyzing that PDF, which it found from the internet. And now it says, okay, chat with computer science statistics PDF. This is how easy it is and how simple the UI is. It does what it is meant to do. There is no distractions. The UI looks great. You can just upload the PDF from your local machine or from any URL, and then you can start having a conversation with that PDF. It says, okay, hello there. Welcome to the department of computer science PDF file on data science. We are thrilled to have you here and hope that this file will provide you with all the necessary information you need to pursue a career or further studies in this exciting field. The three example questions you may have about this PDF file. What are the requirements? Let's go. What are the requirements for the data science measure? Let's copy this and ask any question, paste here, and it provides us the information now after analyzing the PDF. And now I think this has many pages. Let's see if it gives the page number. And as you can see here, it extracted the answer from that page and it provides the information for us. And this is really good use case of ChatGPT API where we can use it to analyze or, or have a conversation with that particular document. You can go and ask as many questions as you want. Let's say that what is data science if it is able to produce the answer for that. What is data science? And if we press enter, let's see if it gives answer for us. Because yeah, data science is a field that involves the extraction, analysis and interpretation of large and complex data sets using statistical and computational methods and is go, it goes on explaining all the things. But the main thing here is it is not extracting from the wave how chat GPT used to do. It is just going through the PDF and giving us the information only from the PDF. This answer was also provided from page six. This is really cool. So yeah, this is, this is how it works. And if you want to go to the Twitter page, it has the link here with the Twitter logo. Here, follow on Twitter for updates. You can go and see all the developments because it's new. And according to Mathis, they are going to make a paid version of this also. Although there, there might be the paid version, it looks that this is going to be a good uh, success for them because it's really simple and it does what it is meant to do. And one good part is we can even use our own API keys. The person who is making this website does not have to pay. We can pay ourselves and use it for our own use cases. So yeah, this is just a short video I want to create. Uh, I hope you like it. And I just want to say thank you to Mathis because he's creating the good use case of ChatGPT API. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.